cheapest man 17 ultimate team coins for any console check out mudbank.com for cheap coins instant delivery and 100 safe use code xerxy at checkout for a 10 percent discount on your order the whole thing wobbing What is going on guys, it is Zerxium today with another YouTube video and today I am going to be telling you guys who I think you should choose for your gold player and also for your elite player and let me just get right into this. So, the 5 gold players you have from choosing from are Brady, Deion Sanders, Jerry Rice, Barry Sanders, and Ray Lewis. Now I'm going to explain to you why you do not want to go with either Brady or Ray Lewis right off the bat. So those two. First off, it's Brady. You already get Ocho Cinco and Dan Marino from completing the long shot storm one. Now, we do not know the overalls of these guys, but I'm pretty sure they are at least 87, 88 for the long shot. We also do not know the overalls of the GOAT players, but I'm going to assume they're probably 87, 88 as well. So, if you already have Marino, you don't need Brady because they're both pocket passer quarterbacks. And honestly, this year, I wouldn't recommend starting off with a not mobile quarterback at all but they're basically both statue quarterbacks just gonna sit in the pocket and throw dots but they will not be able to run at all so that's why you don't want to go with Brady because you already get Marino who would be basically the same as Brady and then you have Ray Lewis who usually in Madden Ultimate Team does not have a very fast card now I know I said that before and someone commented well he had a 99 Ultimate Legend in Madden 16 that had like 99 speed yeah a 99 overall card had 99 speed it's gonna be like an 88 overall and you guys know how speed is this year he's probably gonna have 81 82 speed not fast enough and they also said that usering middle linebackers is gonna be a little bit harder this year you're gonna need somebody that's faster somebody that's more agile like a Shazier a Bob Wagner someone like that if you'd like to use your middle linebacker so Ray Lewis I don't recommend getting him either we have Dion Jerry Rice and Barry Sanders now in my opinion, you want to go with somebody that has depth at their position. Now, they did say you can take these goal players and you can also upgrade them. So, if you already get Ocho Cinco and you get Jerry Rice, if you're strictly, I mean, if you legit do not run the ball at all, what you could do is you can get Ocho Cinco from the long shot, you can get Jerry Rice from your GOAT player, and then you get a free base lead as well for pre the game. Now, in my opinion, the best ones are Julio, Zeke, David Johnson, Antonio Brown, and Richard Sherman, and Xavier Rhodes. So if you go straight pass, if all you do is pass, like I'm telling, like you legit run the ball maybe two, three times a game, you should probably go with, you know, A Ocho Cinco from the long shot story mode. Go with Jerry Rice and then pick yourself up a Julio Jones. And you'll have three elite wide receivers to start off the year. Now, if you're not as heavy in the passing, you storm the ball a good 10 times. Maybe you want to go with Ocho, Jerry, and then pick yourself up a Richard Sherman or a Zeke. Now, the thing is with running backs, they're not... A depth position unless you run a two halfback set which if you run gun split close or something like that with two halfbacks in backfield then you can maybe go with you know Jerry or Barry and Julio in my personal opinion I think the best two to go with are two very good depth position players because you already have Marino you already have Ocho then you get yourself a Deion Sanders who will be a lockdown quarterback and you can upgrade him I don't know how you can upgrade him but they already said that you can upgrade the GOAT players if you get yourself Ocho, Deion, Marino and Julio Jones that is going to be insane then pick yourself up just someone good for the slot or even move Ocho in the slot I think my what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Deion, Ocho from the long shot and then pick up Julio Jones from my base elite and then for the running back position, I'm probably going to go out there and buy myself base elite Ezekiel Elliott instead of getting the free base elite that you get because that card's probably going to be like an 85, 86 is what I expect for these free base elites and then the gold player is probably like 87. You can go out and pick yourself up 88 overall Zeke or whatever overall he is. Now, if you're straight up just terrible at defense, you already have Ocho and Marino from getting the long shot, and you just want to focus on defense, I would suggest getting Dion and Xavier Rhodes for your quarterbacks. Both very fast, very good in coverage corners. Now, if you're more of a run stuff guy, you want to get linebackers that are just really speedy, good at coverage, not too good at block shed, you might want to go with Dion or even Ray Lewis if you really 
don't use your middle linebacker, like you just use your defensive end or something, you could go with Ray Lewis and maybe Richard Sherman, two guys that are great against the run. But those are my personal opinions and who you should get for your girl players. I definitely suggest either Dion or Jerry Rice for the top two. Just something that has a depth position. Barry, yeah, he's going to be good for a little bit. You still have not seen his stats. You don't even know his overall. He might go out of style in about two weeks. But even towards the end of the game, using this Deion Sanders and Julio Jones, they'll still be on your roster as the fourth, maybe fifth wide receiver or cornerback. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment. I will see you guys next time. And make sure to let me know down in the comment section who you're going to go with. See you guys next time.